Hello, everybody. I am Blaze, not Zero Gear Plus, for the Midnight Blaze channel. There was a ghosty who's just kind of running around. He was another player. So, welcome back to Let's Play, uh, well, Blaze Plays, the rest of Dark Souls 3. In this episode, we are going to figure out how the hell we're going to get to the boss after running around all of these monsters. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm actually going to switch, not yet. Uh, but I'm probably going to want to switch over to my uh, Hollow Slayer Greatsword to uh, take on the boss. So I kind of want to... The boss isn't hard, it's just a matter of... Shit, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. So we'll fight you. We'll fight you over here. We'll fight like civilized men. That is not what I want to do. That is not what I wanted to do. I want to get behind you. And I want to backstab you. I don't think that killed you. It did not. But that did. You just walked close to me. Do you have any idea how much of a death sentence that is? Do you know how foolish you are? Oh, that was a blood stain. I'm like, oh shit, I think I summoned somebody. But I did not. Alright, so there's a guy over here. We can walk right up to him and just get an early kill on him. Really fast there. Now these crusaders, I call them crusaders because they look like crusaders. They have the crusader helm. Uh, these guys can actually drop really good armor. It's really heavy, but it's really good armor if you guys wanted to grind off them for a while. I'm not going to because I like my medium heavy armor, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. But uh, if you guys wanted to do that, that is definitely an option. Deacon robe to match the skirt I got. It was on sale. All right, so... What I want to do here, because I, not because I need the help, this is an easy enough fight, but I want to ember up here, because I want to add a couple people into my party. Hi, Horus. And who do we have here? That is a human player. So we'll wait for Horus to get here. Is that Guts? Is that a Guts cosplay? Gatsu. I think that's supposed to be a Guts cosplay. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. But uh, next we'll summon Henri of Astora. Hi, Henri. So, I like having these two in for this fight because I think it's uh, just much more fun to see that, you know, they're finally getting to fight back uh, against the place that held them captive as children. And I think Cirrus is down here. Her summon sign's like right down here or something. Or not. I guess because I guess I can only have these two in my party. You guys ready to go? And these are NPCs. These are not human players. These are all NPCs. So this will be interesting. Let's uh, clear these guys out here. Kill as many of these guys as we can. I kind of want to go just around the room and tell everyone a little bit about each other. Uh, but no, I want to kill as many of these guys as I can because these guys will keep respawning. These are the Deacons of the Deep. Uh, they are all one boss. So I, there is one, you can see the guy that has the flame on him. This is that guy we actually have to damage in order to deal damage to the actual boss, which is the Phantom of the Deacon. Uh, but I want to kill as many of these small fry as possible because since these guys keep respawning, you know, if you have too many of them on hand, it can get a little out of hand. So that's kind of why I wanted a big weapon so I could just tank out as many of these guys with a long reach weapon as possible. So see, now that we're, you know, clearing these guys out, you know, leaks and leaps and bounds at a time. I was about to say like 10,000 leagues under the sea. But um, now that we can take these guys out like a billion at a time, uh, it's really not that hard. I haven't used a flask once. I'm not even holding on to my flask because I'm honestly just not worried about it. It's not that hard of a fight. I will get my uh, flask ready, though, just in case, because uh, now that I've said that, I'm going to start to have trouble. So now that we've dealt half damage to the boss, we actually did that a few seconds ago, uh, the actual deacons right here, we can really just gang up on him for the rest of the fight. Uh, everybody's going to be swarming in to protect him, uh, but it doesn't matter because they're all weak as hell. So I just want to step back to recover my stamina and just kind of move in. Henri's already helping me out here. Not that hard. And there we go. They all die. I can heal up here. We get a small doll and the souls of the deacon of the deep. Deacons of the deep. Now I wanted to come here first so that I could get that small doll because uh, after the because we're gonna need that right after the catacombs. Cool. So uh, I can just heal up here. Right quick. Save up. Well, not save, but you know what I mean. Travel. 
I don't want to travel because now uh, that we've technically reloaded the area, I can put my Astora sword back on. Um, we can get the Archdeacon White Crown, Archdeacon Holy Garb, and the Archdeacon Skirt. Light armor, if you're a sorcerer type, because I'm certainly not going to be wearing it. Wanted to make sure there wasn't anything on the other side here. What's this say? Pointless. Huh, it's a dead end. Liar. Probably somebody talking about there's something here, which there's not. So, that's awesome. We got a ton of souls. Uh, let's go back to the Firelink Shrine. It's been a little while since we've been there. And... Do, 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 do. Firelink Shrine. Ah, finally glad to be out of this place. The rest of the game is really fun. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this place. I guess it's not so much the trouble. It's just that it's just really, it's like I said before, it's shaped like a four leaf clover. It comes back in on itself like a billion times. So Aegon's still here. Uh, I just dropped it now. This couldn't be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do you, buddy. All right, Horace. Uh, I didn't get the blue sentinels thing from you? That's weird. Not that I'm going to use it. Alright, cool. So, uh, apparently Aldrich left. Because uh, that's why they were in uh, the Cathedral of the Deep. To fight Aldrich. So, uh, apparently he made his home back to Irithyll. Uh, where we're going to have to go there to fight him. But Irithyll is beyond the catacombs. Which is where we're going next. Hi, Irina. Uh, the Braille Divine Tome. Just give me that. <laughs> and the Deep Braille. I think that's bad. Alright, I guess I shouldn't have done that, but... Because I would much like to give her the happy ending. Because I really... I don't want to see her go insane. Well, technically, it doesn't matter, because you have to buy all of the sorceries from her, or all the miracles, rather, uh, before her ending comes. And I don't know if I'm going to go through with that on this playthrough. Uh, I have a pyromancy for you, sir. Welcome to Delfino Plaza. Great yes. swamp. Yeah. All right, cool. So, reimport force pyromancy flame if I wanted to, which I don't need to, I guess. Honestly, I have no real intention of using it. But here we go now. Oh, shit. I have to go back to the cleansing chapel before I forget. Um, I have to, I bought Sigurd's armor, and I didn't give it to him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That is of utmost importance right now. All right, level up. Very well. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's one level. We got to make this count. Uh, 764. I put level into health last time, so let's put it into strength, I think. Let's get closer to using that Great Wolf Sword. Alright. So now, we need to go... Cleansing Chapel, there we are. Sigurd! I am coming to save you! You'll notice when I first got here to the Cleansing Chapel, there was an area right outside of this building, like literally 30 seconds away, if that. Maybe it will be 30 if this load screen takes any longer. Yes, I know what my night armor does. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to do the DLC. I'm super pumped about that. I still haven't played it because I want to I wanna be blind for that, but... Hello? 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 Anyone there? Yes. Anyone at all? Right here. Right here. Oh, I know that voice. Yep. Ah, that's the sig word I'm looking for. All right. So if you ha if I hadn't All right, cool. So he's getting out, and he gives me the rejoice, which I actually want to put on over. Where is rejoice? 
There it is. And over jump for joy. I want to put welcome because that's awesome. Oh, I'm evading as a watchdog of Farron. Cool. We can do that in this episode. I was wondering if this would ever happen. So, as a watchdog of Farron, we're going to see something new today. I'm going to show you guys something interesting. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. But we'll see. Because I don't know. All right. Hurry up. All right. So, I have invaded as a watchdog of Farron. Ah, there's a guy over here. Trespasser Raven. Are you even going to attempt to fight me? All right. Let's play the game. Ooh, what the hell? She's going for a super light party here. Oh, she's probably a he, but uh, like I said, probably going to die, but I can, yeah, not let that deter me from playing the game however I want to play it. She was definitely, she's definitely doing something professional here. She's got a slashing weapon in her right hand, and then she has a, a great machete in the other, so that's probably the finishing weapon when she can knock you down, and she must have upped her uh, endurance to the max so that she can uh, last out my shield, and she's probably wearing rings that uh, increase how much uh, stamina drop from me blocking her attacks. That's actually not a very bad strategy if you want to play PvP, which I'm not. But, uh, so, Sigward is now going to be free, which means that we can see him in later, uh, parts of the game. Which is gonna be fun. Uh, cause I actually plan to do Sigward's storyline, so that'll be fun. Now, but for now, we're gonna go back to the Firelink Shrine, I think, and we're gonna end this episode off here. So, uh, while we're just kind of, uh, in the loading screen on the way back to the Firelink Shrine... I guess I'll do my outro. So be sure to hit the like button. That's where it's always been. While you're down there, you should click the subscribe button too. And definitely, most definitely, don't forget to leave a comment. I love to read your comments. So this is Blaze for the Midnight Blaze channel signing off. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.